My name is Jisoo Kim. I'm Korea Foundation Associate Professor of History, International Affairs, and East Asian Languages and Literatures. And I'm also director of GW Institute for Korean Studies and co-director of East Asian Na National Research Center. My research area is in gender and legal history of Korea. And uh, my first book focused on um, uh, the role of emotions and how that uh, relates to um, seeking justice in early modern Korea. And the title of the book uh, is The Emotions of Justice, Gender, Status, and Legal Performance in Chosen Korea. And uh, while working on that uh, project, I got interested in um, adultery cases because I, I, uh, I was able to read uh, many criminal cases related to adultery. And so my current project looks at uh, history of adultery in, uh, in Korea, starting from Joseon Dynasty up to 2015 when adultery law was abolished. So in Korean history, adultery has been recognized as a crime, um, as a criminal law uh, throughout well, until 2015, until the law was abolished. And so what I'm interested in is looking, uh, trying to understand um, how adultery was understood in different historical uh, periods, starting from Joseon Dynasty uh, th through the colonial period and post-liberation period. Because obviously the concept of adultery uh, was different in these different time periods. And also adultery law was um, different accordingly. And so through the lens of adultery, I'm trying to understand gender relationship, sexuality, and also you know, it's, uh, the, the patriarchal society, gender norms, and so forth. I became interested in adultery cases uh, because I found them, there were just so many in uh, criminal records that I was reading in the Joseon dynasty. Um, but I, but 2015, um, the abolishment of adultery law uh, by the Constitutional Court of Korea, that really attracted my attention because the, the rationale that they state there uh, still resonates uh, Confucian language. And so that kind of uh, led me to try to understand uh, the issue of adultery and what it means in Korean society from uh, the past until uh, today. If you look at majority of um, history monographs in the field of Korean studies, most of it has been focused on certain time periods. So for example, let's say Joseon, Joseon Dynasty or colonial period or, um, you know, uh, like during the Cold War. But however, for I think this project uh, has a country will contribute to the field of Korean studies in that I'm trying to use adultery as a lens to look at more broader picture of uh, Korean history starting from Joseon Dynasty until 2015 when the question when the adultery law was abolished. So it will give us a better idea or understanding of um, Korean history, and not just you know, understand just part of Korean um, history or in, you know, certain historical periods, but give a more broader picture of understanding Korean society, especially in terms of gender uh, relations uh, through this project.